Hey, hey, what's going on, you kings and queens? Have an amazing day. Right now, I'm with the amazing Garrick Baxterville. He's been practicing med for over 12 years now. He's board certified, all about the health for family wellness, and he went to Penn State for undergrad and his medical school. He, right now, I've interviewed tons of people, I've been doing marketing for years, and he's by far is changing the way we do healthcare now. So let me introduce an amazing Eric. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. No problem, thanks for being here. Jordan, thank you for having me. You're welcome. So what's the biggest thing you think most people do not understand about the healthcare? The biggest thing that I would say that people don't understand is healthcare does not have to be expensive. Yeah, how long do you think the average person spends a month or even a year on healthcare? So the average person, as far as the, the, their co-pays, um, the co-pays could be anywhere from 10 to uh, actually $140 um, to see a doctor, depending on whether it's at your primary care or an urgent care. But <clears throat> I've seen co-pays as much as 140 As far as the monthly uh, premiums that, that patients pay, it can be anywhere from $300 to $600. Wow. Uh, and then their deductibles can be as much as six dollars to $10,000. So when you add up all the costs for an annual um, health care coverage, it's usually about $11,000 or more that somebody has to pay before their insurance kicks in. That's in one year. That's in one year, $11,000 or more. And the reason why he's on here too is to sell what he does is incredible. He has a, not even a payment system, but a subscription based health care. Yeah. Can you tell us more about what you do and how you do your pricing structure for people? Yes. So, um, my company called Metsi Care, it's M-E-T-S-I Care, uh, and that stands for Music, Entertainment, Technology, and Service Industry Care. Um, we actually see everybody, but we give discounts uh, to creatives, because uh, oftentimes they don't have as much money, uh, they don't make as much, <clears throat> and that includes entrepreneurs. Um, but this model was developed off of the direct primary care model. Uh, direct primary care, it's a model that started about 10 years ago. Uh, in the last four to six years, it's, it's, it's been gaining a lot more popularity. Um, there's direct primary care doctors across the country. And in this model of care, direct primary care, we actually pair you, the patients with their own personal physician, and it's a one-on-one -on -one connection of mm. care, where for a low monthly uh, membership rate, and it's usually between 50 and $100, a patient will pay um, that doesn't, it's, it's, it's out separate from their insurance if they have insurance, if they can afford that. But they pay usually between $50 and $100 to have direct access to a doctor that knows them, that cares for them, and that also gives them the time um, to take care of them. This model is special because in, in the, the model of direct primary care, we give 30 to 60 minutes with our patients. Um, so they're unrushed rush visits. Um, when you take insurance, doctors that take insurance, unfortunately that model um, is you get between 8 and 12 minutes with your doctor. Mm -hmm. And so when we give so much more time and we can actually focus on actually the patient and not fulfilling the, the, the needs of insurance companies uh, and, and, and pharmacy companies and the hospitals that we all uh, work for, at least that I used to work for, um, this, the care shifts from trying to support insurances and hospitals yeah. to uh, a, a shift to the patient and so we are direct primary care doctors are all about um, just the one-on-one -on -one connection with our patients uh, and we focus on your care and preventative care and that's that's the biggest thing instead of reactionary care where we're treating disease our model is to really focus on prevention mm -hmm. um, we also treat disease as well but we want to help you work with you to help prevent you from actually needing expensive treatments yeah so you're saving them on the short term and the long term yes Absolutely. I don't know if y'all caught that. He said they charge him from what, fifty to one hundred and fifty dollars a month. Does that mean you're saving what ten thousand dollars a year on average? Yeah. So in this in this model, that's if you decide that you don't want to have a catastrophic coverage. And with direct primary care, we we don't recommend that people just have direct primary care. Mm -hmm. We actually pair great with if you have insurance. Now there's some people that just can't afford insurance and we're a great option because direct primary care doctors can take care of 80 to 90% of your healthcare needs. So we can do 80 to 90% of it, but 10 to 20% of it, it might be something we just can't do in our office. Yeah. So direct primary care, we do anything in our office that we can do like at a normal doctor's office. And we, most of us do things that are also you would get in our urgent care. 
Um, but for the catastrophic coverage, like let's say you get cancer or you have a heart attack, that's when you're gonna wanna use your insurance. But this is the beauty of the direct primary care working with insurance companies or with patients that have insurance mm -hmm. is we can still save you a whole lot of money if you have insurance because when you get, so direct primary care doctors negotiate our own rates for our patients to lower cost of your care. And so when you get st uh, care done or have procedures or tests done through insurance, it usually costs, it can be three, five, 10 times as much as what it would cost through direct primary care doctor's office. Yeah. An example of this is some lab tests. Through my company, a lot of my lab tests cost $7. If you go and get them you know, through your insurance, it could be as $50 to $150 for the same test that in my office it's seven. Wow, And so we're, we're saving a lot of money. So mm -hmm. it's, it is insane. Uh, also MRIs. So if you get an MRI through insurance, it's usually between two and $3,000. If you get them through direct primary care doctor's office, MRIs are between $300 and $500 usually. And so it's way, way, um, way less expensive because we're not profiting on all these expensive tests. Mm -hmm. like, like when you use insurance, they are profiting. They have to, on yeah. That. Yeah. So that's a, that's a huge thing I think people don't re necessarily recognize or understand, but uh, these are some of the savings that we give to our patients. And then they can see you as many times they want to in that month regardless of how much they spent as well that's that is true so let's say one week i see one of my patients and they're there for the flu and i treat them for the flu and put them on their medicines they're on their way and i help them get discounted medicines and then they come back the next day and uh, the next week i'm sorry or next day and mm -hmm. they say hey doc i have an ingrown toenail can you take care of that for me i'll say absolutely i got it <laughs> and then the next week or next day whatever they say hey i think i hurt my back can i come in and see you the answer is yes and so we treat them and it's not a, an exchange of money every single time they come in it's based on a relationship yeah i know my patients and they pay that monthly membership between like i said 50 and 100 100 dollars usually on average sometimes it's a little more depending on if you're in like brooklyn or san francisco if you're in an area where it costs more living sometimes it's more than 100 dollars a month wow um, but for the most part it's super affordable and you get a higher quality of care in this model Nice, that's incredible. That's, so what inspired you to really do this? And like, what's kind of your story behind getting started with this life-changing practice? Well, um, what inspired me, it's, it's, it's several fold as far as uh, doing this model of care. But um, I worked um, taking insurance and I was a doctor for 12 years, um, taking care of people. And I saw that there was a lot of issues with the general healthcare system and the insurance system. And, the focus was more on profits and not on people and mm -hmm. prevention. And I, um, I didn't feel like I was being the best doctor that I really wanted to be because my employers um, would actually um, measure how long I spent with, with, with patients and they actually penalized me uh, if I spent what they considered too much time. Um, and even at my last employer, um, they actually um, they timed me and they said, hey doc, you're spending way too much time with your patients. Um, and they, they limited my time to 10 minutes with my wow. patients. Um, and I can't provide good care in, in 10 minutes. <clears throat> and so I, you know, I, I did this because I wanted to be able to be a better doctor and, and, and you know, take care of my patients in a better, more special way. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that was one of my inspirations, and I can tell you a little bit more. Um, before I was a doctor, I was an artist, uh, and um, I, I stopped doing art when I went to med school, and I started this company you know, that caters around creatives, so I can take care of creatives because I understand what it's like to be a creative, yeah. but also we're gonna do art and music events to, to you know, for number one, to support you know, our artists, artists and musicians that are part of our, our collaborative, but also I, I, I know the, the, the joy and happiness that someone gets from creating mm -hmm. as a creative myself, and, and I'm excited to start doing art and music uh, stuff again like I did when I was a kid. I love that, and like, I read in the paper even, like you said that you saw firsthand people go through addiction and stuff as well, like, can you tell us more about that and why, like, how you help people prevent that kind of stuff from happening to them and their family and stuff? Yeah. And so, you know, with, uh, with me personally, you know, I have uh, family members and friends that have had struggled with um, addiction. 
Uh, a lot of times it, it was usually from a fracture uh, or they got injured in some way and they went to a doctor, they got put on a narcotic of some sort, and then unfortunately, you know, they, they, they got addicted to it. And mm -hmm. so with Metsy Care, we, we focus on more of a holistic model uh, and, and it's not just with Metsy Care, actually, DPC doctors in general. We focus on a more holistic model of treating pa pain and depression and anxiety. So we use medicines, but um, we specifically don't focus on like these addictive medicines that could cause future oh, yeah. harm and addiction, which can lead to heroin, can lead to you know other hard drugs, and then unfortunately can lead to someone's death. Mm -hmm. And so we focus on what are the other aspects that could help someone with them getting over, you know, let's say pain. And, and you know, pain, um, it's more than just a physical thing. And I think when you see doctors, a lot of times we don't talk about what are all the aspects that, that you know, um, that that affects, that account. yeah, that it accounts for pain. And it's more than just something physical. So with our model, we're focused on community and we do art and music events together. And then we do other things like yoga and yoga events together, fitness, running stuff. And so all that stuff can help with someone's pain and trauma. Um, and so, and then they don't have to, you know, necessarily get on a drug that's addictive. Mm -hmm. um, it yeah. like ruin the life from the worst and how it was in the first place. Exactly, exactly, yeah. So what do you think separates you from other people inside of this healthcare industry? What makes you stand out from everybody else who are doctors out there? You know, I, I would say it's not just me. I would say, you know, what separates direct primary care from the rest of healthcare, we're, we're more focused on our patients uh, and prevention, mm -hmm. and um, and it's not based on money, um, you know. And so we don't make more money by ordering more tests or doing more referrals and all that stuff. We make more money by actually keeping people healthy yeah. because then our members are going to want to continue to be part of our membership mm -hmm. because you can cancel at any time, you know, in this direct primary care model. So wow. we, don't, we don't usually have contracts in direct primary care. A month, month subscription it's a, yeah. it's a month to month subscription, just like a gym membership or Netflix. And so of course we want to continue to provide value and a service to our members. And so by keeping people healthy, then they're going to want to continue paying the membership. Mm. And so we focus on keeping you healthy and, and being, and being there for you. So in this model, we also have, um, same day or next day appointments, you know, and that's something that you usually cannot get if you yeah. go to a doctor that takes insurance, it could be four day wait. It could be a 10 day wait. It could be a 21 day wait mm -hmm. to see your doctor. But if you're sick, you want to see them now. You're sick. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to wait three weeks to see them. And mm -hmm. so that's another one of the values that this model has that uh, doctors that take insurance, <clears throat> unfortunately, they're overloaded with patients. So doctors that take insurance, the median range for that is be between 2,200 and 2,600 patients doctors have. In this model, we have between four and 600 patients. Wow. So when you have 20 uh, to 25% of what doctors that take insurance have, we can provide better care and we're more available to our patients when they need us. That's incredible. And like, obviously you can tell Garrett is super modest. He's a doctor that really cares and goes above and beyond. He hopes your patients make money as well too, you said. Like, he yeah. said you help people make more money than they spend on month for your subscription base. And that's, that's a goal of Metsy Care. You know, of course, I, you know, I can't promise that mm -hmm. um, to, to our members, but what, what we do is we created a model where we support our members and we promote our members who join into Metsy Care. We actually promote them through our social media, through our contacts in the industry here. Um, and then we also use their services. So, um, you know, when we have events, Metsy events, we have them at our members' locations. Mm -hmm. You know, when we, when we need a caterer, we'll use one of our members to cater the events. When we have music events, we use our members to play in our music events. And so it's, it's about creating a community around our members and then members using each other as well mm -hmm. for different services and then offering discounts to our members within, within our collaborative. So, um, you know, so my, my goal with the company is financial health and literacy is kind of connected to, to your general health. So we can help, you know, get some money back into our members' pockets. That's more part of their health. So that's, that's something that we do at Metsy Care. That is so powerful. Like, as a marketer, you know, I'm all about having a community mindset, you know, helping people win together as a team, making sure it's all win-win. So what you're doing is like truly incredible. Thank you. And what else can you tell them on how to like benefit from what you're doing right now? Even if they have no money, what can they do to help have a healthier lifestyle? You know, there's, there's a couple things that you can do for free to have a healthier lifestyle. 
Number one, have a community around you that supports you and loves you. And, and, and if that person or people around you, they, they don't support you or they cause you stress unduly, get rid of them. I mean, you know, none of us need mm -hmm. extra stress in our lives. Um, so I would say the community aspect is huge. Uh, next is nutrition. You know, eating healthy um, is super important. Um, and I'm, you know, a big proponent of a mostly plant-based diet. And then having meat, if you if you want that as a, as kind of as a, an a additional bonus thing a, a too. Bonus, side. but you know, grains, nuts, you know, fruit, vegetables, legumes, uh, mushrooms, all those things have been proven to actually contribute more to our health. Mm. And it's because they have what's, what what are called um, macronutrients um, and micronutrients, mostly micronutrients, but micronutrients that are really support the function of our body. Um, and then also anti-inflammatory, antioxidant kind of things that help decrease cancer and, 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 that, and the like. So, um, you know, that is super important. And then the other, other things I would say is get outside. So there's many studies to show that actually just be, having exposure to sunlight and being outside um, improves our mental well-being um, and just improves basically our happiness and joy that we experience. And then I would say fitness, so you can get out and do things that, for free, but mm -hmm. move, you know, moving the body, not just staying sedentary, I think that's uh, super important. Yeah. Um, and then a couple more things, uh, drinking enough water. Um, water is super important for our body to stay hydrated, for the cells to function appropriately, so that's important. Sleep is also important, and that's, and that's, <laughs> that's free. But adults, we should be getting anywhere from seven to nine hours of sleep per night. And so that's super important for the body to repair after and repair and recharge after a full day. So those are some, some of the tenants that I would say are free that you can do for your health. Um, but like I said, cost nothing, but they're mm -hmm. super important. Yeah, can you add them like five, 10 years, more years of your lifestyle by doing that kind of practices or? You know, I'm not sure if we have the data for, for that um, as far as, you know, how many more extra years that it can bring. Mm -hmm. um, I would just say anecdotally, yeah, it's gonna add more, more years to your life by, by living this kind of more healthier lifestyle. But it also is, you know, adding to the quality of your yeah. life. You know, so when you, when you eat well, you're, you know, and you sleep well, you're gonna, feel more physically, um, physically and mentally um, well. And, mm -hmm. and, and so the quality of life is super important too. Less depression, you know, more physical vitality. Um, and so I think that is also very important. That's huge. And then you saying how you also help people on the mental aspect too. Like yes. you don't just do the health of the body, but the health of the mind too. How do you do that exactly? Yeah, so um, most, you know, direct primary care doctors like myself, we, we did four years of medical school uh, and then we did uh, three years minimum of 80 hour weeks in residency. And so if you look at 80 hours a week, it's really like six years of training minimum. Dedication. <laughs> it's dedication, we slept in hospitals and all that stuff. But we're well trained to take care of, like I said, 80 to 90% of someone's needs, and that includes mental health. Okay. So in, in my residency program, just like the other direct primary care doctors, we rotated through the mental wards um, in hospitals. We, we treated schizophrenics and people with bipolar disorder, depression, wow. insomnia, and we had direct experience with that. And then after we got out of residency, we had our own patients and we treated all of that stuff. So, you know, we're well equipped in the direct primary care model to actually take care of someone who has anxiety, depression, insomnia, ADD, um, and even some of us treat bipolar disorder. And so, you know, those are, those are some of the things that mental health wise that we do. Now, we're not therapists, and so we still would recommend that you, if you want ongoing therapy, that you have a therapist. Um, and you can go to a website called Psychology Today to find a therapist near you. Um, but we are all about um, just trying to support, and pro and support our patients' mind, body, and spirit. Mm -hmm. That is life changing, honestly. Like, I didn't know personally that you could do that kind of work from seeing a physician to the, all about health in the first place. Yep. I thought you had to as a psychologist and so forth to do that kind of stuff. And then, what kind of call to action can you give people who are watching us from a global aspect? What can they do now to like join this new movement of healthcare? Well, I, I would say one of the best things that you could do is actually find a direct primary care doctor near you. You know, we have several direct primary care doctor's offices here in Austin, Texas. 
Um, and so we're here locally, um, but then nationally, um, you can actually find us on the Mapper um, for direct primary care, and the website for that is mapper.dpcfrontier.com. So it's M-A-P-P-E-R dot dpcfrontier.com. And if you go on there, you can find a direct primary care doctor near you. That's nice. Now, what people who are in Austin, Texas, how can they find you? Yeah, so if, if you are interested in the services that we talked about here um, and, 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 and having Metsy Care be your direct primary care doctor's office, we are at, um, we're on Instagram, so the handle is at Metsy Care. Um, and then we're also, we have our website. And so you can go to our website and learn more about our model of care, at, specifically at Metsy Care. Um, and then there's, there's a video on, on the website as well that you can watch. But that is uh, www.metsycare.com, and that's M E T S I care.com. Okay, and it's all the way down below as well. I have a link for you. You can find it super easy. What he's doing is truly incredible. That's why I have him on it right now because I really believe on making a community of people who have good health and be able to live life on their own terms. And Dr. Garrick is definitely doing this. But not everyone who gets sick seeks advice from a physician. Why? It's because going to see your doctor is almost always expensive and inconvenient. But it doesn't have to be. Have you heard about direct primary care? DPC is a new model for delivering primary health care, and its simplicity is its genius. And if you have one thing to say to the whole entire planet, what would that be? You know, uh, that's, that's a hard question. Um, you know, but I, I would say my biggest recommendation is, you know, if you're feeling something, something's just not right, um, you're feeling that there's a pain or something that's not right, go find a doctor. If you're feeling depressed um, or if you're struggling with addiction or mental health issues, you know, find a direct primary care doctor. You know, we're, we're gonna be there for you. You're gonna pay a low monthly rate and, and we're here to take care of you. Um, so we want you to know that healthcare does not have to be expensive and so finding a doctor that truly cares about you and, and is there in your time of need I think is super important because um, we don't want anyone to silently struggle with life. Um, life is hard for everybody, you know, whether you, know, you might think someone has money so they, they're not struggling, life is hard for everyone and mm -hmm. so having a doctor that cares for you and is not just taking all this money and, and everything but not, and not giving you value um, you can have that you know and and I believe that direct primary care is is the best option for that that won't break your bank but also you'll have your own doctor that will care for you I love that thank you for standing up for all us definitely get some help if you need some Dr. Baskerville is here for you I think he's truly incredible Thank you so much for being here. Jordan, thank you so much. You're welcome. Appreciate it. And everyone, please tell this video with your friends, tag your friends below, let them know about what he's doing here and how we can change the world together. Thank you all for joining. I'll see you all soon. Thank you.